Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reorganizing my bathroom. So this is our guest bathroom, and we definitely just use the vanity in here and medicine cabinet for storage, just random things. Um, but we also do sometimes choose to get ready in here, so we've got, you know, deodorant, hair brushes, the regular kind of stuff too. So I think what I really want to do is go through everything and kind of figure out where the best place to store everything is, if everything that's in here really belongs in here, and that kind of thing. Because the process of us using this bathroom just for random storage to using it to sometimes get ready in was kind of gradual. We just like slowly started bringing more and more stuff over here. So I've actually never gone through and actually organized this properly. So let's get started. So for the main storage, we've got this little vanity right here. We've got two cupboards on each side. And we've got, let's see, three drawers down the middle and then two short drawers on each side. And we've got this little medicine cabinet right here. Sorry, the mirror's a little dirty. And then in the shower itself, we've got a little caddy here and a little shelf. I think the first thing I'm going to do is take everything out of its current residence and just lay everything out on the vanity as best I can. I'm sure I'll run out of space, but um, I just kind of want to see everything that we've gotten here and then kind of sort things into groups just kind of based on what it is and whether or not I still want to be keeping it in here. I'm going to start with everything that's currently in the shower. So in the shower we had two disposable razors which should both go in the trash. <laughs> uh, got a hair tie, which I don't need to store in the shower. Uh, let's see, I've got little travel bottles of shampoo and conditioner. A random life hack. So I feel like a lot of people really aren't traveling right now. Um, so I've just kind of been using my like travel size things as regular things because anything that was already open was kind of going to go bad or just kind of go to waste since I don't know when the next time I'll be traveling is. Uh, so yeah, life hack. Save some money on buying more shampoo and conditioner to use all your travel size stuff. <laughs> uh, so I've got a little travel size body wash thing. This is, I think, actually empty. So that's in the trash too. Uh, I've got this cucumber body wash and Kevin shampoo. So I think I put the trash in the trash. Should probably have brought a big trash bag in here, but hopefully there's not too much trash. I don't imagine there will be. I think all of the shampoo conditioner body washes probably just go back in the caddy or on the shelf. Oh, I also have my little like water uh, hairbrush in there, but I really don't wash my hair in there super often. So I'm definitely thinking this doesn't need to be stored in the shower. Next place I'm gonna do is this little medicine cabinet right here, which has anything but medicine in it. <laughs> Mostly hair products. Um, let's see. We've got my deodorant, Kevin's deodorant, child size deodorant. Uh, some hair oil, hair oil elixir. Got one bottle of nail polish. Uh, a little Vaseline lip therapy, got some Breathe Right strips, got some dry shampoo. This is my favorite, favorite one. It's by OGX. Got some heat protector spray. This stuff 
So this is a leave-in conditioner. I honestly think that I have had this exact same bottle since 2017. And it's still half full. Uh, it smells really good, but I just... I don't know, I kind of prefer like the more like oil-based kind of leave-in conditioners rather than this like like kind of water-based one. I don't know if this is, yeah, I would say this is water-based because the very first ingredient is water. <laughs> um, I know that hair products typically have some sort of a lifespan on them. There's usually like a little thing on here that will tell you how long it's good for after it's open, but since this is like three years old and I don't really see myself using it, I think I'm just going to toss it. Okay, I've got some hair serum, hair spray, uh, this other dry shampoo, which I don't like, but still got a little bit in it. Um, I'll hold on to that for now. I'm gonna wipe down the shelves in here because it's a little, a little, a little dusty. I kind of think I want to change how I store my hair stuff and put them maybe in the main vanity. Uh, but I think I want to see what other things I've got in here. Okay, the next place I'm going to do is the main vanity, and obviously this is where the vast majority of the things in here are stored, so this is where it might get a little interesting. I'm just going to start with this first little cabinet. So it looks like I've just got cleaning supplies in here right now. I've got like two things of toilet cleaner, I've got some lime away, and a little scrub brush for the bathroom, or the bathroom, the shower. We'll see, I'm just gonna put it on the floor right here. Honestly, in here could use a little bit of a dust too. I got our first drawer down here. You guys, a bit of an overview of uh, why I'm kind of taking on this project. So, I've got some sunscreen for my face. Uh, I've got a little mirror. It's one of those like magnified things if I want to like put my eyebrows or something. Uh, is this like a head massager thing? Got a little hair bow. Headband, hair clip, some of these like derm cleaning kind of things. Okay. Another hair clip, got some tweezers, got my flat iron in here. Pouch of hair ties. It's like one of those heat protectant gloves. I don't know if I've ever used this. If I ever use my curling wand, which I literally never do, then this might come in handy, but I feel like for flat ironing my hair, I really don't need it. Got a little bag of bobby pins. And I've got some dust. Okay, bottom drawer on this side, I've got, what even is this? Oh, I got this as like a free sample of something. It's like a travel size deodorant. I haven't tried that yet. Got some perfume that I've had probably since I was like 10. Uh, I've got some face lotion. My contacts. 
This drawer, surprisingly, is actually not really dusty at all. I think it's really where I store like my hair stuff that tends to get bad just because of like product buildup and stuff. This cover here. I don't think there's much. Can you still see me? So. <laughs> okay. I've got more shampoo and conditioner. Got some hand lotion. This is definitely probably two years old. It smells really good. Um, might hold on to it for a little longer. Got some extra toilet paper. I'm gonna leave that in here. So I'm not really kind of running out of room up here. Uh, I've got some pads. Two tampons. A bar of soap. This is really for gas because we always use like body wash, shower gel type stuff. This drawer is completely empty, which is shocking because why am I not using storage if I have storage? Now for the center drawers here. This one is definitely my most used. Uh, so I've got my hairbrush, Kevin's hairbrush. Got some face wipes. It's a little like hot mat thing for when I'm using my flat iron. Uh, got a comb, a hair tie, some lip balm. Got another hair tie. I don't really see myself using this. It's kind of like a decorative flowery type of thing. Hair straightening brush. Just a smattering of random hair things back here. There's like a tiny little hair tie and some more bobby pins and quite a bit of hair. The middle drawer in here, uh, there's not much. So I've got this little bin in here. Which, I guess I need to go through everything that's in here too. Okay, I'm just gonna set this aside for a minute. Uh, got some nail polish remover, hand lotion. Got these little things you can like put between your toes when you're painting them so your toes don't like touch each other. My Burt's Bees lip balm that I've been looking for. I've got like a hair claspy kind of thing. Another tampon. More Burt's Bees stuff. This is like a lipstick and a lip shimmer. Like came in a set together. Where there's a fingernail in here. It's like a little, I don't know, I must have been like cutting my nails and somehow it like flew in here. Oh, that's kind of gross. Oh, but wait, there's one more. Okay. And now for the last row, which I know has quite a bit of stuff in it. So I've got another bin in here. <sighs> got some travel size Tylenol. Um, I guess this room is like mainly travel stuff. So I just got some like airport size like plastic bags. 
got travel size tums, travel size contact solution, rapidly going out of space up here. Uh, I'm not even 100% sure what's in here. I'm pretty sure this is shampoo and body wash for Kevin. Uh, Um, travel plus contact solution. Uh, what do you know this is? Travel size shaving cream. Travel size post shave balm. That's Kevin's. Not like a soap dish for traveling, which I don't see either one of us ever using, but. I guess you could always put other stuff in there. Uh, got a little travel first aid kit. And then I bought some spare toothbrush heads, which is not travel related. So that's kind of funny. Um, this room is not too bad. Okay, so that is everything that was in here. I am really not sure what the best way to organize this all is. Um, but I guess the one thing we do need to do is see what's actually in these little bins. So it looks like this one is really like travel stuff. Uh, so I've got like a little toothbrush, it's like a roll-on perfume, little travel size like lotions and shaving creams and boxes of toothpaste and then this one is kind of I guess you could say beauty stuff got some cotton balls uh, nail scissors nail file got these pore strips these face masks I think I'm gonna throw these out because I know this looks like a lot to just toss but I've had these since I think 2016 so I don't even think that they're still good and they kind of burned my eyes so I think I think they've got to go they're they're actually dusty <laughs> I haven't seen these in ages these are like things you can use on your bra straps to turn it into like a racer back I really I had no idea that I had this much stuff down here. This is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm honestly just a little bit overwhelmed right now because I had no idea how much stuff was in here. Like, I really just use like that like top center drawer for like you know my hairbrush and then like sometimes I'll use like the hair products from the medicine cabinet but the rest of the drawers I really don't go into very much so <laughs> this is this has been interesting I don't even really have room to sort stuff in here so I'm like I don't even know what to do I think I'm gonna put all my hair stuff on this side in the cupboard where I used to have the cleaning stuff because that will accommodate these like super tall shampoo conditioner bottles. Yeah, I'm like, I have to start putting things in things because otherwise I'm going to go crazy just like looking at all this stuff. I don't know how long I've had this hairspray, probably since 2017, so honestly it's probably not good anymore. Uh, really don't use hairspray often, so I'm kind of torn. I'm pretty sure hair products last for two years before they kind of like get funky and like you're not really supposed to use them anymore. Yeah, I think I'm gonna toss this because it's gotta be like three or four years old at this point and I cannot even remember the last time I used it. So something like this doesn't really make sense for me to put in here, like, if this doesn't really 
Will really work. So I think this doesn't go in a drawer. Um, so I guess I could have this kind of like my hair section right here. So using the drawer that's underneath here, I can start another section there. And I'll do um, random hair everywhere. Uh, hair tie. Got a lot of like random hair clippy kind of things. There's a little pouch in here. There we go. So I think maybe I'll just use this pouch to try and store as much of that stuff as possible. I'm gonna maybe leave like these kind of crocodile clips out because these are more like functional things that you like wear in your hair and these are more like I don't know what you call it, utilitarian, like things you use just when you're like doing your hair. I feel like that looks super organized. And my flat iron. Kind of need to do some cord management here. But I feel like that's one of those things that's not really realistic to keep up with. Like, I know every time I use my flat iron, I'm not going to, like, wrap the cord nicely and put it away. So I think, honestly, the best kind of a storage solution is one that doesn't require that in order to be functional. Like, I'm not sure if everything will fit in here properly without it being... Uh, completely like wrapped up nicely. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, it's working out so far. Got this glove. I'm not sure where my curling wand is. I think it's in the closet. I've got like a bin in there. So I think I'm going to stick this glove with that because I think that's the only time that I would ever choose to use this. I don't really have like dividers or anything that I could put in there. That'd be good if I could have one like down the middle or something so I have like tools on one side and like, you know, brushes and ties on the other or something. But for now, I think having everything all in one place is like the best I could ask for after that was before. Okay, I think in this top drawer here, I'm going to do some skin stuff. So, regular face lotion, which I should be using every day, but I feel like I always get lazy or forget. Uh, I'm gonna put my little mirror in here. Um, a little dermaplaning sticks. I think it's called Dermot I don't want to be like miss saying that. But you can use it to get like little peach fuzz or like eyebrow hairs off. So I've got extra toilet paper on this side. And then I think I'm just going to stick like this like nice hand lotion and this bar of soap down here. And that'll kind of be like maybe stuff I want to take out if we have guests. I think in the bottom drawer down here, I'm going to put stuff that we don't really use a ton. Um, stick my contacts down here so we need to get out once a month. I think these are all perfumes I never really use. But I feel like I like them too much to get rid of them. What else? Nail polish. It's definitely something that I don't use often at all. I cannot remember the last time I used it. So I'll step back down here. These little toe things. And I guess I'll let that fit. 
think I can lay it down. Um, cotton balls. That should be the nail stuff. Hmm. Now I'm almost thinking if I want to have just like a nail stuff section. Okay. I think I changed my mind here. So I think what I'm going to do is take this bin, which I kind of just have miscellaneous stuff in, and then, oh, find more tweezers. <laughs> Let's see. It's definitely a lot of things I have that I don't really use. Honestly, some that I just forgot about. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this little bin as like my nail stuff. So I'm going to take cotton balls, nail polish remover, nail polish, uh, two things. That's it comes down here. Then I've got some nail papers, nail file, nail scissors. Maybe I'll put hand lotions in here too. Although I feel like I don't want to like go into a bit every time I want hand lotion. I do have a lot of extras though. Got these two little ones I think I can store in here and then I'll just keep out like a uh, big one. I feel like that looks decent. So if I'm only not a ton here but keeps it all together nicely. The question is will this fit in here? I don't think it will. Mm, no. Okay. So move this to center drawer over here. I think these little bra strap things I'm going to move to the bin where I actually store my bras. So the last category of stuff that I have to go through is this little travel bin. And I've got one big drawer and two of the skinny drawers left open. So clearly this does not actually fit in here. And they were all kind of like tucked in on signs around it in the drawer before. Uh, so I think now that I've got that extra room, I can actually maybe divide this into categories. I really don't know why I have so much travel stuff. It's kind of interesting. I guess I need a section just for like bags. I don't know if there's really a good way to organize this. Make a shelf for myself right here somewhere. There we go. Okay. Got a lot of extra toothbrushes and toothpaste because literally every time I go to the dentist, I feel like I get that stuff. And I always just save it. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about that I want to just use up. So this is like three quarters empty and I was just saving it for like the next time I traveled somewhere, but since that probably won't be for quite a while, I feel like I should just go ahead and use this like I use everyday regular toothpaste. Got another three quarter empty travel size too. And now I have a horrifying amount of extra contact cases because every time you buy a new bottle you get a case with it. I have found four like partially used travel size tubes of toothpaste. This is like kind of ridiculous. These face wipes are completely dry. That's trash. This stuff has got to be super old because I don't use this kind of shampoo and conditioner anymore. So 
and toss these out. This is just a tiny little bag. It looks like something where you get like an extra button with clothes or something like that. And I guess I just kept it because I thought it would be good for traveling. I feel like I could have a bin literally just for travel size toothpaste stuff and it would be like a mostly full bin. But that sounds so ridiculous. Um, hmm. So, some of the stuff will go back in the bin, and then some of it can go in the drawers. Don't know what the best way to divide it up would be. Actually, I have an idea. I think I'm going to take my contacts out of the kind of like less used drawer that I created down there, and I'm going to make another drawer just for art stuff. Take my contacts out of here. So this is gonna be like my eye stuff section. So got some glasses cleaning tissue. Extra contacts. I think I need like a little container I can put them in, but don't think I have anything like that at the moment. So I'm just gonna have to do a pile. This is honestly like a horrifying number. So it looks like I've got. Oh, I don't even want to count, but I will because I'm sure you guys are curious. I got a one, two, three, four. I have six, seven extra contact cases for me, and that's not including all the ones I have in like other places in the house, like in the other bathroom. And there are five extra ones for Kevin. So this is a little crazy. We definitely need to start like changing out our contact cases more, I think, so we can like go through these. Yeah, so I think eventually I want to get like a little basket in here and that way I can like stack up all of these little cases so they're not like rolling around. Definitely going to use this bin for my tooth stuff because this is just like an insane amount. Like I don't even know why we have so many. We've got, let's see here. Five trans size tubes of toothpaste in boxes. So I've already told you how many of the half used ones we have, but the half used ones and the not yet used ones that are out of boxes. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of <laughs> these. I really don't understand how this happened. I think that what I'm going to do with all of the half-used ones is just have that be like our everyday toothpaste for the next however long it takes us to go through it because I feel like I really don't want to waste that much toothpaste. So I think that'll be a good way to get rid of it without actually throwing it out. Okay, so all of the other tooth stuff I'm going to put back in here uh, and then this bin will go in the big center drawer at the bottom. All the other travel stuff I'm going to put in the small bottom drawer and after that I think we'll, we'll be just about done. Okay so I feel like I'm not 100% pleased with how it turned out. I definitely wish I had like some little dividers or some little bins to kind of put like inside the drawer and like break things up a little bit. Um, but in terms of like how the things are grouped together, I feel like it's definitely a thousand times more organized than it was before. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So in medicine cabinet, I actually have it mostly empty right now. 
Um, I feel like there's probably some stuff in the other bathroom that can come over here um, because that medicine cabinet's really, really crowded. Um, but for now, I've just got our deodorant up there. I've got some Vaseline, breather Art strips, Kevin's hairbrush in the shower. I just got body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. Looks way more organized. Out down in the main vanity area. So, um, I decided the cleaning products I am going to move into our like cleaning supply utility kind of cupboard and just have like actual bathroom stuff in here. So this is my little hair section here. So I've got shampoo, conditioner, uh, heat protectant, dry shampoo, and like different like serums and oils. And this drawer right underneath, I've got more hair stuff. So I really like that that's together. Uh, so I've got my different like hair straightening tools, my little heat mat, uh, hair brushes, and some hair ties. And then this drawer down here at the bottom, I've got a bunch of travel stuff. Definitely would be good to have a divider in here. Um, but I just got like bags and then um, like skin stuff, hair stuff body stuff and then at the back I've got like first aid and like medicine stuff and a drawer next to it got my little bin of tooth things so I'll show you guys so I've got all of the extra mini toothpaste and flosses and extra toothbrushes, toothbrush covers. And my up one drawer, I've got this bin in here. And this drawer, I've got my nail and hand stuff, I'll call it. So I've got like nail polish, nail polish remover, uh, cotton balls, and I've got my nail scissors, nail file, and then a couple like mini hand lotions that I don't really use much. Then this drawer, I've got all of my skin stuff. Uh, so I've got my like everyday face lotion. Um, also like my everyday kind of hand lotion. I don't use hand lotion every day, but like if I do want hand lotion, that's the one that I typically use. Uh, I've got my face sunscreen, face wipes. I've got my two little lip balms down here. Uh, and then I've just got like some more like deeper skin stuff. So like pore strips and like, derm pointing razors, uh, tweezers, my little hand mirror. And moving over here. So we've just got extra toilet paper and then some kind of like guest things like soap, nice hand lotion. Down here is like the, I guess, eye care drawer you could call it. So I've got my extra contacts and then I've got all of our extra cases. We have way too many. Uh, some extra contact solution and some little like glasses cleaning wipes. And then the last drawer down here, this is kind of miscellaneous. So I've got like pads, tampons, extra. Oh, okay. I didn't even see this. These are extra toothbrush heads. So I can definitely put that with the other tooth things. Uh, I've just got like some lipstick and perfume and bath bombs that I don't really use. Definitely think this was a worthwhile project just to be able to see everything that we have. I know that I'm not going to have to buy toothpaste again for like a year. Um, and I definitely need to like be changing out my contact cases more because I have no idea how we like accumulated so many. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like it if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.